Hey everyone, today I'm going to be answering another question from our Facebook page over at facebook.com slash iceflowstudios. Gustavo asks, how can I put a head on another body and then match the colors and tones, etc.? Now this is a question that's been asked by quite a few people over the years, so here's how it can be done. Now before I begin, if you want to view the written tutorial to this video, make sure to check out tutcast.com for this tutorial as well as other tutcast.com exclusive tutorials. So in front of us, I have both images open. We're going to try to place the woman's face from the right on the body on the left. And at the same time, we're going to try and match the colors and tones as closely as possible. Now, when you're preparing to do an edit like this, you want to try and find a face that matches the angle of the face on the body you're going to use. In this case, even though the image is rotated, the face is still going to match the angle when we correct the rotation. Let's go ahead and start by dragging the image of the face on top of the image on the body we want to use. Once it's in the same document, I found that reducing the opacity of the top image helps with the alignment and scaling. By pressing the number 5 on my keyboard, I can quickly reduce the opacity to 50%. Now I can go ahead and scale and rotate the image until the two faces line up as accurately as possible. That looks pretty good. Once the face is lined up, increase the opacity back up to 100% and add a layer mask to that layer. We're going to make a very rough removal just to exclude the areas of the image we don't need. Now if you're unfamiliar with layer masks, anything that is painted black will be hidden from that layer and anything that remains or is painted white will be visible. So now that we have the face by itself, let's move it to the side so we can work on the color. As you can see, there are quite a few color differences between the two images. The top image has much lighter hair and her skin contains a lot more red than the bottom layer. The best way to start editing the color is to use a color balance adjustment layer. This will allow us to adjust our shadows, midtones, and highlights of the layer. One thing you definitely need to make sure to do is click on this button right here. This will lock the adjustment layer to only the layer directly below it. We don't want the whole background and everything else being affected. Your best bet is to go through the sliders and experiment with the color changes. Obviously we want to reduce the reds, so under highlights and midtones I'm going to drag the first slider down a little bit. As for the hair, because it's a darker shade, this will be affected by the shadows. Adjusting these sliders will definitely help match the hair color. Now once you adjust the shadows, you may need to go back to the midtones and highlights and play around with the colors just to get everything matching. Now that the color is more accurate to the original image, I'm going to pop on a vibrance adjustment layer and bring the saturation down a touch to around negative 15. Alright, now let's go back and finalize the layer mask. In most cases, because we've already gone ahead and matched the skin color, using a very soft brush would be enough to blend the two images together. At this point, your images should be looking quite nice. One last thing you'll probably want to do is burn and dodge. Burning will definitely be helpful when adding shadows to the face, and dodging can help add light to help match the original image. You may want to go back and tweak the colors a little bit, which is why I made sure to use adjustment layers. And with a bit of patience, you can definitely achieve a pretty realistic edit. So I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial, and remember, if you have any Photoshop questions, definitely head over to tutcast.com ask, or facebook.com slash iceflowstudios, or follow and reply to iceflowstudios on Twitter. Take care.